Hello everybody and how are you today? This is Sue McCurdy from Suzy Q Designs coming to you live from my scrapbook room. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I've been spending some time playing with the rock and roll bundle. So we're gonna make a card for Fancy Fold Friday using the rock and roll bundle today. I'm so excited. So I finally got it out and finally got some time to play with it. So we are going to make a fun fold card. And this card is based on a card that I got from my friend Mary. So shout out to Mary for the base of this fun fold card. And it was a Christmas card that she made, but I'm going to be making, a, it's gonna be a Valentine's Day card for my husband. And, um, I'm gonna use blues with it because that is his favorite color. It's kind of my favorite color too right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be using black and white because that's what is in the bundle. And then we're gonna put some color in with it and use Misty Moonlight. We're going to do a little bit of uh, blending using the blending brushes and we're going to be doing some die cutting and a little bit of coloring too so stay with me and it should be fun if you come on and watch the video please say hi and let me know where you're joining me from I love to see where my viewers are from and I love to hear from you so uh, yeah give me a shout out and say hi and uh, I'm glad the Facebook live is working today I tried to do a video yesterday and I couldn't get uh, my Facebook live to work so I did do a video and then I just uploaded it. So um, yes, and I will be uploading this to uh, YouTube as well. So if you are watching the replay on YouTube, please say hi and let me know where you're joining me from. Hello, Crystal, how are you today? Thank you so much for joining. I'm just getting ready to turn down the camera. Hi, <laughs> I'm just getting ready to turn down the camera and we're gonna get started with um, our Fun Fold Friday card. So as I said, I'm using the Rock and Roll Bundle. And the Rock and Roll Bundle is on page 55 and it is from the new mini catalog. So um, the new mini catalog went live on uh, January the 4th and I've got a few items in here. And this was one of the bundles that I bought. So we're gonna be using that today to make a Valentine's card. It's gonna be a guy card, it's gonna be for my hubby. So he likes blue, so we're gonna use a little bit of blue. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna flip the camera down and then we'll get started. So thank you so much for joining me today. And bear with me for a sec while I turn the camera down. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's pretty cold down here in my basement today, so I feel like I'm a little bit um, cold, like my hands, my hands are cold, so bear with me for a sec while I try to straighten this out, and then we'll get started. All right, that looks a bit crooked still. All right. Okay, so that looks better. All right, so I'm just gonna refresh my feed on the computer. I'm gonna have my laptop open while we do the video. So if you come on live to watch, please say hi and let me know where you are joining me from. All right, so I'm just gonna increase the size of my video. Oh hearing myself I got to turn my sound off okay so here we go we are going to be using um, this bundle today it is called the rock and roll bundle so I bought this uh, I think I got it back in December I haven't had a chance to play with it until today so it comes with this uh, beautiful paper pack here it's black and white but we can color it up using uh, markers I'm gonna be using a stamp and blend today so I'm gonna be using my misty moonlight light one today um, to color in some some of the pieces okay we're gonna be using this stamp set and the dies and then we're gonna finish with using these pretty gems this uh, card is also or sorry not the card but the uh, paper pack is also in the paper share 
So if you join with a paper share, you get a quarter of a pack of each of the papers that are in the catalog. All right, so let me move this and then I'll bring in the measurements. So the measurements for the card today are using the card base is four and a quarter by seven. So I used white for my card base, four and a quarter by seven, and then scored at five and a half right here. And then also you will need a couple of white pieces. So if you do your card base in white, do the other piece in white as well. So this is gonna be part of the card base and it's cut at one and a half by four and a half. Okay, um, then you're gonna need some designer series paper. And these pieces are all cut in the same size. So we have got one and a quarter by four and you will need four of them. So I did two for the front using one designer series paper and then I did two for the inside using another designer series paper using this one. So where is the other side of it? Actually, I'm probably gonna use this side. Okay, so we're gonna use that for the inside. So you'll need four and those are all cut at the same measurement. Okay, and then for the layers, you're gonna need some cardstock for the back, for the base of it. And you can use white to match the base if you want, but I'm gonna use a coordinating color. And this is cut at three by four and three quarters. And then you're gonna need a layer. So I was going to use this color blue as my layer. So I'm just trying to decide if I want to use that or the designer series paper. So anyways, cut it at two and three quarters by four and a half. So I've got two here. We can either use this one or the blue. So I'm just going to decide as we go along and see. Um, and then you're going to need a front layer piece. And that, where did that go? I had it on my desk here a minute ago. Um, the front layer piece is gonna be cut at four and a half, no, sorry, four and a quarter by two and a half. Where did I put it? Okay, here it is. So that's gonna fit inside there. So four and a quarter by two and a half. And then also for the sentiment, you're gonna need a little piece and that is one and a half by two and a half. Okay, and then for stamping on, I'm actually going to stamp on this shimmer paper. This shimmer paper is from the annual catalog, and I got this a while ago, and I haven't used it yet either, so I've been wanting to use it. So we're actually going to stamp the guitar on here, and we are going to use stays on for the, for the stamping on this. Stays on I think is gonna work the best because I'm gonna stamp on it and color on it, but as you can see, it's shimmery. Okay, so I'm using the Stays On ink in jet black for that. And then for the um, sentiment, I'm gonna be using Misty Moonlight because that's gonna be my coordinating color. Okay, let's get started. So how are you today, Crystal? Thank you so much for joining me. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is score your card front down. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that another crease there. And then we're gonna get all of our little pieces and we're gonna glue them on. Okay, so I think I was gonna put that on the inside. This one, look at how cute this paper is. I just love it. Looks like uh, radio waves. So I'm gonna put that there and then we'll put that on the inside. So I'm gonna bring in my Tombow glue and my tweezers. I always like to use those so I don't get my uh, fingers all gluey. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a bit of glue on the back of this piece and glue it on. Like even the other side of that is so cool. So center that so it looks pretty good okay so there we go and then I'm gonna glue this other piece down here 
on this piece of white, which will be also part of our card base. There we go, that looks pretty good. And glue that down. Okay, so now for the inside, I think what I'm going to do is maybe put some color on this. So I think before I glue it down, I'm going to color some of the pieces in with my Misty Moonlight light marker. Okay, so these are the um, alcohol markers, so they do blend, but I'm not really going to do any blending with them today. I'm just going to put a little bit of color in. So I'm just going to pick one of the things to color in here and just to give it some color so when we open up the card it will look interesting and cute i hope that's what i'm going for and i think i'll do this one here and i'm just going to try to find the same part to color on the other one before i glue it in okay so don't see any more of those over here. They're kind of cut off, so maybe I'll just color in this one. All right, so that looks good. So let me find where I'm going to glue these in. So this can be glued here or here for the inside. And this, we want it to be glued down here because when we open it up, this will be over top of it. And then when we open up the card, you will see these two pieces. So I think I'm gonna put them under here. Although that looks like it's upside down. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna put it this way so that when we open up the card, it is right side up. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue on here and glue that on. There we go. And then down here. Put a bit of glue on the back of that too. And there we go. Nice. Okay, so now uh, I think I'm gonna stamp my sentiment in there right now while we have uh, the card open. So the sentiment I'm using is from, it says Happy Valentine's Day. It is from the B bundle uh, be my valentine bundle so let me just show you here it's from this stamp set be my valentine so i am doing a card class um in a little bit over a week yeah february 7th using this stamp set as well so if you're available february 7th at 9 30 a.m come on out for that card class that's going to be fun so i'm just going to take the stamp set from it and stamp it in misty moonlight and I'll just stamp it about there so it looks good. And I'm just going to bring in my stamping mat for this so I can try to get a good crisp image. Now I don't even, I think I've used this stamp before, but just to make sure I'm just going to practice on this paper. Yeah, it looks really good before I do it on my good copy here. So ink it up. Make sure I got lots of ink on there. Looks pretty good. And then I think I'll probably just put it right in the middle and then I will have some room to write a message to my hubby afterward. Okay, good, that turned out really nicely. Just gonna close that up. And so our inside is now done. Now we're gonna finish doing the outside. It's gonna get rid of my stamping mat. Okay, so this one is gonna go down here and cover that up. Now we gotta build our layers for the front of the card. So, this we're gonna stamp on. I'm going to bring in my white piece and before I start gluing it on, I'm gonna do a little bit of ink blending on here just so that my um, white isn't so stark so i'm going to bring in my one of my mini blending brushes 
to do this because it's a pretty small piece. Okay, so I'm going to be covering it up with the guitar. I'm probably going to put the guitar on a diagonal this way. So the middle part will be um, covered up with the guitar. So I'm just going to lightly tap off there to get that circle part off. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of color on the diagonal where we're going to put the guitar. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Get that out of the way. And see how it's a little bit blotchy when you first start? That's why I tapped off. It's good to start on the outside edges, so I could have started down here in the corners, but I'm gonna cover that up anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so then what we're going to do is decide which layers we're going to use. So this is gonna be the base layer and then I can choose this one or this one. So this one is the coordinating color, Misty Moonlight, and this one is the some of the designer series paper that is from that set. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I really like that. It's got a real grunge look to it. So put a bit of glue on the back of there. There we go. And I can go ahead and glue that down. And then on here, I okay, so I'm just gonna glue that down. Here we go. Okay, so now for my pieces, so this is going to be glued on there, and then that's gonna be the base of the fun fold. I'm not even sure what this is called, but it looks like an H to me. I guess this way it looks like an H, so I don't know what it's called, but it's cute, so I chose it. Okay, so for our sentiment, we are going to use the stamp set that says, you're a rock star. Okay, that came with this uh, set. So I am going to stamp that in Misty Moonlight to coordinate. And I'm just going to bring in my stamping mat again. Actually, I don't really need my stamping mat for this one because it's a red rubber stamp and it already has uh, the foam underneath it. So I won't really need that. And because this has like a grunge look on it, it's um, not going to be really, really crisp image. So the funny thing was when I was playing with this, I thought I was having a stamp set that wasn't working properly because it wasn't coming out really crisp and clear, but that's just the way they designed it. <clears throat> so um, when you stamp it, it does not have a really crisp image but it looks really good with the paper okay so um when i die cut it out here is the die so i'm just going to run that through the machine and then when it comes out it looks like this so here is our sentiment so we're going to put it on there and then i'm going to get my guitar and we're going to use stays on to glue or to um, stamp the image. So I've got this really big guitar stamp, and this is so fun. Um, so I'm gonna stamp that on here. And because this is the shimmer paper, you gotta make sure that the ink stays on it and doesn't smudge. So I think I decided to use stays on so that we don't get smudges. Plus, I'm going to color on it a little bit. So I want to make sure that the ink stays on it. So stays on, I think, is a good choice for this. Okay, I'm going to get that all inked up. I'm ready to go. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to stamp it on here. Press it down for a few seconds, and then lift it up. 
And look at that cool image. That looks so cool. So I'm gonna give that a minute to dry and then I'm gonna color on it. So again, what I'm using is the Stampin' Blends and I'm gonna use the Misty Moonlight, the light one. Okay, get that out of the way. And here is the dye for that. So I'm just gonna dry that a bit by blowing on it. <laughs> And I'm just going to color in the middle part in here to give it some color. Okay, so just on the inside here, try to stay inside the lines when I color. And I'll do this side over here. Color it in. Do you like coloring? I do sometimes. It's pretty relaxing, I find. But there we go. We only need a little bit of color there. So I'm going to smudge that out. Okay, there we go. And then the dye that we're using comes with the bundle. And it looks like that. So just run that through the die cutting machine. And then when it comes out, it looks like this. All right, so now we can assemble the card. So I'm going to put this right here. Now, I think I might pop it up. I think it'll look better popped up. So I'm gonna bring in my dimensionals for that so I can pop it up. I'll look over here and see if I have any dimensionals handy. Found some, and then we're going to put our card together. So, when we do this, I'm going to make sure that I line this piece up with the base piece. Okay, so I'm going to put that there, and then this one, I'm going to glue it just on the top and on the bottom so that we don't put glue on the middle because that's going to be uh, the inside of the card anyways. Okay, so just a little bit on the top and the bottom. There we go. And when I put it on, I just got to make sure I keep that piece in the right spot. Okay, so that's the most important thing. Keep that on there. And I'm just going to hold it down and then try to get this on straight. And try to leave the same amount at the top and bottom so it looks even. Okay, that looks pretty good. Press that down. And hopefully I didn't use too much glue. No, that worked out pretty good. Okay, so I can see my sentiment when I open up the card. Happy Valentine's Day. There we go. Good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so now my uh, guitar is going to go right there. And then I think my sentiment is gonna go right there and then we can embellish. So I think I'm gonna pop both of those up. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals for that. So I'm gonna put a few of them on here. I might need some mini dimensionals for along there, we'll see. Oh, I've got one here that's already cut in half, so I'll put that down there. And I could use another one cut in half, or I can use a mini dimensional. Let me see if I have any minis available. Just going to reach over here for those. Okay, yeah, here they are. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a mini one and put it right about there. Okay, so just using my um, pokey tool here. I'm gonna get the backs of those off, paper backing, and get those out of the way. And this one right there, okay. And then I'm gonna put that on right about here. 
Oh, that looks good. I like that. Okay, get rid of that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the sentiment that says you're a rock star. I'm gonna pop that up as well. So, as you, as you can see, I stamped this a whole bunch of times because I was wondering why it wasn't going to be coming out clear. Um, but it's just the way that it's designed. It has kind of like a speckled uh, design on it. So I stamped it a bunch of times. Not understanding that. It's kind of funny. But uh, now I get it and it looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to put a few dimensionals on here. And bring in my pokey tool and get the paper off. And then I can adhere my sentiment on. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it a bit like that. There we go. All right, press that down. And there's our card. I'm going to bring in the gems that coordinate with this suite. Uh, these are called the Adhesive Back Lightning and Stars. It's on, um, it's in the mini catalog, page 55 of the Spring Mini, and these are 11.75 Canadian. And uh, let me see, should we bring in some more color? How about the yellow? I think the yellow would look good because we don't have any we can use the lightning or we can use the stars so maybe i might put a couple of lightnings on and then a few stars so maybe put one there and there and how about a few stars too you're a rock star could put one up there or down there and up here. Maybe here. And I'll stick with the small ones. And I'll do a couple down here. You're a rock star. So cute. What did I do with that? Okay. And I'll put another one right about here. That looks good. Okay, there we go. And my beautiful card is all done and ready to go. You are a rock star using the rock star bundle. And since I'm using this as a happy Valentine's Day card, I used that sentiment. So cute. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're on YouTube, please click the like and subscribe button so that you can see some more of my videos. All right, thanks for joining me today, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.